What's in the box? Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, catchitsu.com. Look at my new Taurus 692 that they sent me to test and evaluate. Here's a little unboxing video. I mean, obviously I've already opened it up, but I'm just going to show you the important stuff. The important stuff is this awesome, and I like that it has a rear sight protector. comes with dual caliber, triple caliber, maybe even more. Taurus 692 3 inch stainless steel revolver. 357 Magnum cylinders in, but uh, what do you got over here? What do you got over here? You got 357 38 over here, but more importantly, you got cheap training plinking 9mm ammo over here. So great for training, great recoil wise, money wise for all shooters, for SHTF, etc. Um, and uh, this one's not marked 9mm and I've looked at them already. They're clear. The 357 cylinder. What is that? Six? No, no, no. That's seven. That's seven shot. This is only a 35 ounce revolver. It should have very, very little recoil, even with full power magnum loads, because it's ported and that is going to give you at least 20% reduction in muzzle flip and perceived recoil. The rubber grips, whether you love them or hate them, it's definitely going to be good for newer shooters, even with hot 357. With nine millimeter plinking, you could train any shooter on this. And they're not going to have a problem. So I'm going to do a full review on it starting tomorrow. Uh, I, I already I'm impressed with the fit and finish and everything on it. I, I really am. The trigger, um, the trigger I'm pretty happy with for a defensive trigger. It has a very strong trigger return spring. And if it throws my shots at all, it's probably going to be like in half inch, inch high. In just defensive, grab the gun, oh my god, I'm in a gunfight. And shooting really fast the single action it's it takes a considerable pull it's not exactly light but you know even for hunting i think i'd be tracking a deer and be able to do that so um the double action is pretty good and uh, i'm even thinking of getting wolf spring to put in it to change that but what's the secret about this revolver here i'll give you a look-see there is that you merely hit this button and pull on the crane. Let me do it this side. Pull out on the crane and it comes off that simple. Oh, time for some 9mm. I would much rather shoot 9mm, which is more powerful than 38 and way cheaper than changing out to 38s. And most people shoot 38 and then 357 and wonder why it's hard to get their cartridges out because the 38s are shorting up per pounder in the end, one third of your. Uh, cylinder hole, cylinder gap, whatever you want to call it, not gap, but uh, end of your cartridge cylinder hole. So, now 9mm. You can stack this trigger as well, which I like. Even some newer Smith & Wessons, I'm not able to get the trigger pull that I like to be able to stack in double action if I want. 10 yards in, you're just going to be pulling. If it's like 12, 15 though, you're trying to make a headshot. I may stack that double action, and then if it's 25 yards, I'm going to go single action. So, tracker, and um, it's going to look great when I get these Ultima grips put on it. Look at these Ultima Rosewood grips they sent me. I know it's going to look amazing there and similar to another revolver I have. So, 9mm. Comes with five stellar moon clips. I already cheated, loaded some up. These drop right in and eject fine. So you get five of these Stellar Moon Clips. That's great. They seem better quality than people on the net said, or they made their quality better than their little uh, 905 five shot revolver anyway. So the quality actually seems good. They hold the cartridges where I want. I also have three JM Customs already sent to me. Thank you, JM Custom. Uh, and I like their, like, say, Taurus on them and 692, 9mm. Uh, you get all that. Those seem like they're going to work perfectly fine. Let's do a cylinder swap again before I run out of data on my camera. What's also great about this is if you have looked at my is a 7-shot 357 Magnum, a viable CCW choice. I have another revolver, which guess what? My HK7 shot speed loaders work perfectly. So whether you got a 686 plus or you have a GP107 shot, the HKS speed loaders gonna work in that just fine. 
So, empty. So, um, guys, I'm excited to be testing this out. Look for my full review on the Tour 692. I think it's going to be a great trainer for a lot of people. If you have like a really expensive 686 or a Taylor Ruger GP100 like I do, this is going to be a cheap trainer. It's about the same weight. It's like one ounce less. So this is 35 ounces, may even be a little bit less than that. Um, Sometimes I think Taurus weighs their guns with actually ammo in it and their published figures. I'm not sure about this one yet. But um, anyway, guys, uh, I'm excited. It has a totally blacked out rear. I like that. The orange front is good. If that sticker sta stays in place, it is actually a sticker insert. If that does end up flying out, I'll have to do a paint job or something to that effect. But looking at it so far, it, it looks good. I mean, honestly, it looks good to be able to shoot all those calibers, and I'm sure other calibers could work. Contrary to the manual, you know, I'm sure other stuff would fire in it if need be, like 380 or, you know, other stuff. But for SHTF, for training, for carry, um, for carrying 357, the 3-inch, guys, look at my videos, a 3-inch. 7 shot 357 Magnum Viable CCW choice. Great balance, great ballistics. Even with 9mm, I'm going to be getting like about 1200 feet per second, probably with a 124 plus P. That's great for self defense. That could drop a deer if you needed to, if you were a good hunter. If it was H SHTF, uh, 3 inch is going to give you 1400 feet per second almost, maybe about 20 less because the port's 35 less because of the ported barrel. But uh, almost 1,400 feet per second with the original federal loadings. Um, milder stuff like Critical Duty or Golden Saber is still any going to do really good. So ballistically for self-defense, for shooting, for little recoil. Uh, I'm excited about this unboxing. Obviously, you can tell uh, it's something I think looks great with the unfluted cylinder, which kind of matches something else I have. And it's really going to match once I got that. And uh, I got about a minute left. So holsters for this review, Don Hume already sent me holsters. Looks like that's my GP100 holster. That's going to fit great, a little loose, but I like a little, just a little loose. I like a little loose for faster. Um, so maybe an L frame seems to be the best online. It seems most people call it a K frame, but it was kind of beefed up over time. It's really hard to kind of tell, uh, get a direct answer. Is it a K or L frame or size? This is a K frame holster. And uh, it's tighter, but it's been molded to a different 3-inch 9mm revolver. So maybe if I let it sit overnight, this would be good. If you'd like tighter, a K-frame is going to work. If you, I'm sure you got holsters if you're a revolver guy. Um, but probably an L-frame Smith is the in between the GP100 and a K-frame. That's probably where this actually goes, is more like in a 686 holster. And like I said, 686 plus. GP100, 7-shot, all the same, which I just love. So, guys, there's the pseudo-unboxing.